A Florida school district taking action after a high school principal essentially denied that the Holocaust ever happened. The school district has reassigned William Latson after he told a parent he was unable to say the Holocaust was a factual historical event because he was not in a position to do so as a school district employee. Let's bring in Emma Michel, correspondent director uh, for campus reform. Emma, hard to believe this happened. There is outrage from the parents in that community in Boca mm-hmm. Raton. Your thoughts this morning on this? Mm-hmm. Well, this outrage is definitely warranted, and I think if anyone in our country should understand how important it is for students to learn about the Holocaust, it should be our educators, the people in charge of educating young minds. And I think it's time for a history lesson for this principle. Um, And in case there's any doubt in anyone's minds, history has verified six million Jews were killed in the Holocaust. And if this principle seriously can't reconcile that, he should take a visit to D.C. here. There's just a few blocks away from me. There's a pretty incredible Holocaust museum where you can walk through and see relics of what happened. This is a very important thing for students to learn about, and it's tragic that these people are trying to take that away. Just so everyone can see for themselves, these are the emails from the then principal to uh, a parent uh, that were obtained. This is the first one. I can't say the Holocaust is a factual historical event because I am not in a position to do so as a school district employee. Another one. Not everyone believes the Holocaust happened, and you have your thoughts, but we are a public school, and not all our parents have the same beliefs. Emma, he went on to say that it was his job at a public school as the principal to remain, quote, politically neutral. Is that what's happening here? I mean, and and by the way, the the principal is no longer the principal. He's been reassigned to an unspecified position. We don't know what's going to happen there. Mm -hmm. But what you are seeing are parents and uh, students in in that um, in the Boca Raton area who attended this school. Mm -hmm. They're calling for him uh, to be fired. Right. Well, it's shocking to hear someone assert that discussing the facts of the Holocaust could be taken as a political thing. I think regardless of where you are on the political spectrum, we should all be able to learn about the Holocaust and to say never forget. We need to learn about the dark parts of our history so that they are not repeated. And I think there would be public outcry if schools stopped teaching about slavery in the United States because it's a dark thing in history or because people have different opinions. That's not a political issue. And it's important for students to be learning these things so that they're not repeated. And we really need students to be taking on a full understanding of these things. And I think our hyper-politicized discourse right now has maybe gotten us to this place. Well, that history is so important. Marco Rubio, the Florida senator, he's actually calling on legislation requiring Holocaust education Mm -hmm. after saying that this is absolutely crazy to see this happening in South Florida. Emma, thank you for your time and thanks for reacting to that.